What's going on, beer tubers? It's Eric and Charles back at you with yet another beer review. And today we're reviewing kind of something so, something special in yeah. honor of hanging out the first time in like a goddamn year. It's been a while. It's been too long. Yeah. Um, so we're going to be reviewing uh, the 2013 bottling of Duck Duck Goose from the Lost Abbey. And I don't know if you you've had it. Yeah, um, um, I've had it a couple times. Sample size. Um, had it at a couple bottle shares, and I had it at uh, Great American Beer Festival last year. Darkness day for me, so yeah. you know, nothing, nothing significant to really formulate the true opinion. Other than right, I'm pretty sure it's world class. Yep, small samples. So it's typically, or it's an American wild ale in Guza tradition, correct? Yep, 12, 24, 36 month old barrels blended. blended. Yes, wild cultures. Yep, Tommy Arthur. So yeah, let's go ahead. We'll let, actually let you get the pour as an honored, We're an honored honor. guest. Proper glassware. So, yeah, proper glassware, bitches. Uh, Charles is actually is it the creative director? Creative director of the Better Beer Society, correct? In Minneapolis or Northeast Minneapolis, both, correct? Of the Twin Cities. Of the Twin Cities. So kind of he, uh, that is definitely something for you guys to check out. We'll leave a link down in the description below. Holy drag. <laughs> Goodness, that was hideous. Yeah, I'm gonna need some of the butt too, I think. Oh, that's. Yeah, that's chunky. Yeah, I well, got the clear one and you got the funk. Oh, one. well. <laughs> did you see uh, Levi Funk from Funk Factory do his rear at his own brewery? Did he? Yeah. In East County? Madison. Right on. Super Good cool. For him. So, that's exciting. Yeah, anyways, this one pours out that. I, it kind of looks like an American IPA. Yeah. Like that with, hazy weed. With chunks in it. Yeah, well, mine has chunks in it. There's Where's that nose? Mine? Okay, let's get the nose. You talked about the nose prior to opening. The, yeah, the nose of this beer is Holy legendary. Shit. It's my favorite feature of this beer, actually. It I get a ton amazing. of that lemon, like really citric Fruity. acidic lemon. Yep. A lot Citrusy, of tannic oak. Melony. Beer cat. Beer cat. Beer cat likes beer cages. Beer cat, take this cage and run. <laughs> uh, wow, yeah, the melon component that you touched on. Definitely do get it. It's kind of kind of like cantaloupe honeydew, yep. very faint, but get it's a there. Get cantaloupe for sure. That's strange. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. It does have. I mean, it has some tones of almost like a like a Citra IPA. You know. Oh, like definitely, you definitely. It's like it's almost like it's dry hop. Sure. Yeah. Citra. You, you get a lot of those similar. Um, 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 there is a there is a slight dankness, which I wouldn't yep. normally ever attribute to a, a Guza or a, a wild ale even. Sure. For that matter, but. Yeah, I think it's just the slight mustiness imbued to the beer by the barrel. Uh, Hopefully you guys enjoy Beer, beer Cat. cat. <laughs> Hello. <That's> awesome. <laughs> oh, it's so awesome. Um, Tastes. Uh, I, I have to say that it, it smells uh, a little less acidic and tart than I initially thought it would. It smells a little less acidic and tart than I remember it smelling, too. I mean, just it barely. smells a little slightly sweet, and that melon, now that we mention it, is really coming through. Yeah. Not that it's a bad thing. Uh, there's tannic oak, there's some of that barnyard funkiness. Yeah. It smells really good, so. For sure. Let's go ahead and taste it. I'm dying. Cheers. Right Cheers. Yeah, that's delicious. Holy God. 40 bucks a bottle. Worth it. Think so? I'd pay 40 bucks right now for we'll a bottle. <laughs> yeah. Maybe 50. I guess I probably would too. This is one of the most unique sour beers I've ever had. Cantaloupe is huge. Yeah. Lemon peel, grapefruit peel, all those citric rinds, if you will. Really, really, really coming through. Very much so. It's It's subtle in a sense, but... It kind of creeps into your palate. Mm -hmm. you get that tart tartness on the back end. It's really nice, really smooth. I think that's why it actually is a real treat to have a full glass of this because when you're drinking yeah. just a little bit of it, it doesn't really settle on your palate the oh, way you probably need it to. As you need it to, right. or especially like we serve it at what forty five degrees. There about yep. You know, perfect. Time, and as it, as it warms up, it's going to change. That's that's the beauty of sour beer, but um, it's better than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it's better than I remember. The The flavor is better than I remember it being. Uh, as I said previously, the nose is my favorite feature of this beer. But Agreed. The um, mouthfeel is nuts. It's the medium the to full body. Yep. And you'd think for something like Goose, Lambic, any of those typically are pretty dry and, you know, they finish really bone dry and right. kind of fall. There's, there's, a little, there's a little dryness there. Um, not yeah. Not too much. 
You know what kind of reminds me of? What's up? Misanthrope, in a way. You know, in a, in, a little bit. Not, yeah, I mean, I can obviously, this is much more complex. Okay. But the the finish on Misanthrope is uh, definitely definitely there. And uh, yeah, I don't know, man. What do you th- what do you think out of a hundred? Because this gets, I believe, a hundred under your estimate. Um, I I'd say it's right there. I think that you'd I go mean, 100 on it i'd go 100 i i can't think of really any way that this could be improved upon they got the formula Truth. down very true. pretty much i it, i think that tommy was able to execute the beer he wanted to create and i find it highly enjoyable comparing it to the likes of like Fufun, because it it kind of reminds me a lot of Fufun in a way too in in league with it i think yeah, yeah i think it's right I think there they're right there they're both world class they're both 100s sure yeah i'll go ahead and give it 100 it's, right it's uh, been a pleasure to share it with you. Yeah. We're going to keep, it, keep back and sipping this beer and uh, be back for another one shortly. Cheers. Cheers.